beautiful people welcome back to a brand new video now this is still day one technically but we're about 10 hours into the dead Note tournament the stats are on are on the screen and we just finished our fifth task in a row let's see what the sixth one is going to be i am not uh keen on doing steel dragon task unfortunately even though we just had the five streaks so we just started making points we're unfortunately gonna have to skip that one however today i have some pretty big goals hopefully we get some tier 5 emblems and we can then um get a cannon and start cannoning hopefully that's gonna be the plan alongside that i do want to start alking as well to get the passive magic xp passive range xp and just keep going hard on slayer i want to work towards 99 strength let's see if we can do it so what I do on the skip task is I train magic because as soon as we're 55 magic I can start casting high alchemy passively as I train my slayer. However, let's see if we can get a good task and we do. Uh, fire giant task is actually pretty amazing. So we should be getting some decent levels during that one I guess. Ooh, that's a very helpful supply drop actually. We get a lot of Lorunes, 60 of them. Oh, there we go, 87 strength and we still have probably about like a little bit over 100 of them to kill I believe. One more spec, and there we go, we are up to 88 strength, 455k away, once again I'd say a little bit over half an hour for the next one, it would be so much faster if I had a black mask, unfortunately I don't, so we're doing it, uh, well still pretty fast, like 700, 800k XP an hour, I was at AFK for a little bit, in my opinion it's pretty decent. Oh, and there's 51 prayer. I'm only going to be burying big bones until 52. At that point, I will then just not worry about it at all until the point where I eventually get either 77 for augury or 99, uh, depending on how I feel like or what I feel like getting. Two tasks in a row completed. We get some Abbey Spectres. Very nice. No spell already available. However, I don't have a looting bag, so I don't think I'll be looting almost anything from this task. 69 Slayer accomplished. That's enough for Monkey Madness 2. I'm not quite sure if I'll be finishing it. We just got a really cool supply drops full of Sara Bruce. Five of them. Well, I was in a Discord call, but 89 strength accomplished. And now we are once again a little bit over half an hour away from 90 strength. Okay, here we go, 70 Slayer already on the account. In just two more levels, I'll be able to kill Wyverns. In just five more levels, we're gonna be able to kill Gargoyles. Here we go, been a while since we've seen a Supply Drop, and we get some Manta Rays and some Sea Turtles. I guess just one Sea Turtle. That's honestly not too bad. Eight Manta Rays, that's pretty decent. Another Supply Drop. This time, we ended up getting some Anti-Fire Potions. Those will actually come in handy, I believe. All right, here we go, 90 strength and uh, yeah, once again, uh, let's say 40 minutes for a new one. There we go, this is one of those things that we've been waiting for. Finally, a first superior monster, this time Aberrant Spectre. It gives you a lot of experience and most importantly, a very high chance of an imbued heart. Alongside that, it's also a high combat monster and they always drop a supply drop. So I'm really excited to see what we get from this. Let's hope it's something good. Okay, here we go. Almost a two-minute kill. 71 Slayer. I didn't quite catch the experience. And we did get uh, Astral Runes and Mist Runes. Alright, here we go. Another task. Iron Dragons. But... Alrighty then. Another task. But like... <sighs> I'm literally getting trolled, man. Steel Dragons, Iron Dragons. Alright, first things first. Another task. Abby Spectre's perfect. Second thing second. There's a fella right here called Mika Slave. And he's been pretty lucky. He actually got a fairly decent weapon in the wilderness. We are in Discord at the moment. Let me just unmute myself. Is there anything you want to say to the boys? Uh, subscribe to Solomission. Dude, that's the worst thing you could have said. But subscribe to me is what he meant. Anyways, we have a VLS for a little bit of time uh, while we are trying to find the buyer. So we're going to use this on our next task. 45, nice. Another one, uh, another big scepter. This time around we have VLS and VLS is actually gonna hit through this much better than a, a Dragon Scimitar is. So last time this fight took me like two minutes. This time it will probably be done in like one minute. All right, there we go. 72 Slayer, we did get I think 25k experience. So I think that's what you get. And uh, the supply drop this time around, some sea turtles and two anglerfish. Here we go, 91 strength. And uh, for some reason, I just 
forgot how to use English there. Uh, I don't even know. It's getting late. It's 3 a.m. I'll probably be playing for, I assume, another like 40 minutes and then I'll go to bed at about 4 a.m. So I think I might be able to get one more strength level. You know what? Let's make it a deal. One more strength level and then I go to bed. It has been a little bit of time since we last received the supply drop. This time around some shark, some curry. And here we go. That's honestly pretty cool because I will be finishing the task here. This is like the last scepter. And on top of that, I'll also get the level that I wanted to reach today. So there it is, 92 strength, halfway done to 99, very nice. Definitely gonna be finishing that as I wake up, so in this video. Uh, but yeah, let's finish off the task, get a new one and go to bed. I think it's about time, it is pretty much 4am, so perfect timing. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and see what a last task, I mean, what a task tomorrow is going to be. Okay, let's see it, and black demons, fuck me. I'll have to do this one off stream, I think, if I wanna use VLS on it. We'll see. Either way, pretty cool. I'm going to bed. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't even see it. Yes! Tier 5 emblem. Nice! That might be enough for a cannon with all the money that I already have. <gasps> That's huge! That is absolutely huge. That's so good for me. And I can finally get myself a um, rune pouch. No, not rune pouch. A looting bag. Oh yeah, I also didn't go to sleep yet. Um, reason being, this is a scary place to be with VLS on stream, so I kind of want to do it off stream today, I guess. We'll see how much I do. Dude, you are trolling. I just basically almost got a back-to-back -back emblem. Hello? That is actually so insanely good. That's pretty much a cannon. That is pretty much a cannon. I'm gonna finish this trip and then make sure I throw this in the bank. That's 10 dragon scimitars. 10 times 650 each, 65k each. That is a cannon. We have it. Perfect. We're gonna do the quest tomorrow. This task is honestly getting better and better. 350 wrath runes, which I can alg for a lot of money. 150k, I believe. Yeah, if I just alg this, they alg for 300 each. And on top of that, we get like a lot of blood runes too, so... Holy shit, this task is like really, really amazing so far for money. Like, I pretty much got a mil just from doing this task. Really good. Okay, a little bit of a change of plans since I just got myself two arctic emblems and I got myself uh, wrath runes and everything I could possibly ask for. We got really lucky, which means I want to get myself a cannon as soon as possible. That's going to be the game plan. Uh, so let's go ahead and complete the quest. Okay, let me see if I can do this swiftly. There we go, two emblems go in and a bunch of scimitars come out. Now I need to not forget to get my... What the fuck's happening here? There's some action going on. I'm not afraid of anyone. I'm almost 100 combat. Uh, but most importantly, guys, I need this looting bag. Uh, the looting bag will allow me to bank um, anywhere in the map pretty much. So we got ourselves nine dragon scimitars and a looting bag should be pretty much perfect. Let's go ahead and sell everything. Hopefully it sells overnight for let's say 65k each. If that is indeed the case, then we can have a cannon in the morning. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Dwarf cannon quest is now completed um, and we can now use dwarf cannon. 750k needed and then, uh, well, cannonballs. So uh, we're gonna worry about tomorrow. For now, all I can think about is how nice it is going to be to go to sleep. This is what we have accomplished so far. Uh, 14 hours and 40 minutes since the start of the tournament. We are looking like an absolute beast, if you ask me. And it's gonna start looking even better as soon as we start using cannon tomorrow. Alright, here we go. It is the morning. We do have a full cannon right now. Just what we were going for. Okay, a little bit of a goal outside of what I should originally go for is 55 magic because now we can uh, cast high elk whilst we cannon our task, whilst we train slayer. So we're basically going to be gaining ranged and magic experience passively. So that's going to be really good. Okay, so here's where we are starting off on 19 range. Let's see how this evolves through these tasks. Also, um, yeah, I'm not streaming right now. Only six brews. Uh, if I get caught right here with this amount of bruise it can get pretty sketchy so it's like time to properly oh i just got an emblem let's go another one yes we need money for cannon balls that's amazing the range training with cannon is so fast it's like insane we're already 50 range like it's so fast i'm loving it 
Another supply drop, a unicorn horns and limpurt roots. Completely useless, but we'll take it regardless. All the way up to 53 ranged already. This is fast and I love it. <laughs> Anyways, I was in a Discord call with my boys and there it was, 93 strength. So yeah, levels definitely start taking almost an hour to achieve at this point. However, the 99 dream should be very easily accomplishable today. So let's just keep at it. Only 10 more on the task. Pretty nice. Oh, and would you look at that? This is also the kill that is going to get me to 75 Slayer. And that means we now just unlocked a very, very good money making slash rebuild method, which is Gargoyles. They drop a lot of money, they drop tier 5 emblems, they're just an amazing task to do. So maybe we get lucky and we get some uh, Gargoyle tasks very soon. Alright, you can never go wrong with 5D Sims. Just like that, very nice, um, and uh, yeah, that's gonna be what, another 65k a piece? Alright, what is the task number 4? I do wanna get on a good streak of tasks, ah, and Kalfai just isn't it. Kurask, oh wow, okay. We just skipped tasks twice, so third time is the charm for some trolls, man, but like, I honestly don't think it's worth my time, so we're not gonna be doing trolls. Well, if third time isn't the charm, then fourth time is the charm. Can I get a task that I can cannon? Maybe fifth time is the charm. There we go. Finally, fire giants. Uh, I can definitely cannon those Alk at the same time. Pretty good task. If you pay attention to the floor, you will see that we have two supply drops. One consists of five brews, which is very nice. And the other one consists of red spider eggs, I guess. Which is... You know, not that nice and chocolate bars, but we'll take it. That's actually pretty rare, I'd say, to have two supply drops on the floor like that. Um, but yeah, we are looking pretty strong. Almost 76 Slayer. Uh, there it was, 52. Okay, so now I don't need to train prayer anymore. I don't know if those go for anything at the moment, but... Ooh, 76 Slayer as well. Nice. Oh my, hello? Rune to Hander? That's a new one. 64 range. So, Rune to Hander, if you guys are unfamiliar, I probably got it because of Ring of Wealth. Hey, there it was, 94 strength. I almost missed it, but very nice. Five levels to go. Another task, and Worms. Ooh. Yeah, we'll skip that one. A good cannonable task is what we need, and Gargoyles, not cannonable, but uh, definitely a good task, I'd say. Let's go ahead and do them. Alright, here we go, the supply drop of white berries. Uh, not the best one, but eventually I do want to get to at least 78 Herblor, as I do plan on doing a bunch of raids, so... These small supplies are actually gonna be crucial for the herb training, so we'll take that, that's pretty good. Oh! 77 Slayer prices, really. But, just... Oh! What? Hello? Hey, what? 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 Even Bell is surprised. Hello? I just got the Sears ring from a gargoyle. Are you shitting me, dude? Who needs DKs when you can just have Sears ring? That's actually, like, the best ring for, like, the final hour. That is actually, like, insane. I am so happy. How is that possible? That's the first time I land on, like, a mega rare drop table, out, like, at all. Like, outside of Wilderness. Like, what? What the fuck? Okay. We got a 10 Samphew Serum drop as well. Thank you very much, Gabe. Dude, the game is just treating me nicely. Like, what is this? They're like, oh, Deadman mode is back. You know what? Here, have 10 Samphews. Have a Sears ring. Thank you very much. I'll take it very gladly. <laughs> ah, there we go. 95 strength. Let's go. So this was probably one of the most insane tasks uh, that we've had so far. We just got 471k from... Oh my god, look at this loot. It's beautiful. And on top of that, we got Sears Ring. Alright, can we get a back-to-back -back good tasks, pretty please? Come on, a good task so we can finish 96 strength. Perfect. Hellhounds. Chance of tier 5 emblems. Very nice ranged XP. I'll be alking all the way through. This is gonna be an amazing task. Supply drop number one of the task, chocolate bars, red spider eggs, not very useful. Ooh, 70 magic, nice. Sent you a playlist banger, okay. Wait, oh, 78 Slayer, very nice. Here we go, another supply drop, very cool. Seven super combat potions, pretty nice, I'll take it. Oh, what the fuck is this shit? Buddy, relax, man.
That's a lot of people. I think I should be fine if I go my way. That is actually pretty... Whew. Okay, he's got DDS, okay. I think I can TP here, I think they fucked up. Whew, why am I breathing like a fucking... Okay. Okay, huh. Huh. We might die depending on how I do this part right here. I think I've did- oh, thank fuck. Whew, I thought I wouldn't be able to do it, but we're good, we're good. He's just barraging me, I'm playing mage, what the fuck? What is he doing? Nice try boys! Yeah, more than enough, more than enough supplies. Holy shit! I got- I was shaking this whole time. That's because I'm sleep deprived. If I'm not sleep deprived, I wouldn't be shaking, but... Good find. Alright, that task definitely woke me up, I was nervous, but it's fine. Um, we ended up uh, finishing it pretty nicely and we ended up surviving the hit. The stats are on screen, we're getting very close to 96 strength. And uh, Ankus, that should be extremely fast, let's do it. Oh, there it was, 96 strength, I actually forgot. In that one minute I forgot that I was about to get it. But yeah, we are now 1 million away from 97. I'd say about 3 more hours to 99, no, 4 more hours to 99. There it is, 70 range finally accomplished on the account, which means we can now wear Black Dehyde. And that's gonna help versus PKRs when we finally get that. I'll probably look to purchase it pretty much ASAP, honestly. As soon as I get a chance to be on the GE, we're gonna buy Black Dehyde top and bottom. Action. Okay, there we go, 79 Slayer already. Another task out of the way. Can we keep the streak going? Uh, yeah, not not doing that one. If I was 83, I would consider going for the boots, but let's go and skip it. Black dehyde body and chaps accomplished. Nice little tank gear if I get hit again. And the new task is going to be something we are once again not going to do. Black Mask for a very first uh, Chambers of Xeric Unique, so it's gonna be very useful for me, it's probably gonna be very useful for him. Um, yeah, I think it's a worthy trade, it's gonna speed up our training by a lot. Would be lovely if we get a good task right now so we can put the Black Mask to the test. And Abby Specs, well, I can't really put it to the test, but let's do it, it's a good task. Okay, another Aberrant Spectre. Because I never keep track of them, but yeah, 87 HP at some point, and here we go, 25k experience for stamina potions, 12 of them. That's actually very helpful, as I am planning on doing quite a lot of quests very soon. Another supply drop, this time around Manta Ray and the Sea Turtle, nice. Worms is not a good task, we're gonna skip it. Ah, uh, here we go. Ah... <sighs> Let's go back to skipping. Woo! I love skipping. Skipping is so much fun. Yay! Woo! Okay, please. Necreol. Oh, shit. Okay, uh, we'll figure something out about that task. Okay, so the thing with that task, it is actually really, really good. But there is a small problem. It is also very dangerous. If you do it below, it is really, really dangerous. If you do it above, it is not so dangerous. But either way... I do need to get, I think, 61 agility for the Slayer Tower medium spiked chain climb. And then eventually I do want to have um, 71 agility for Slayer Tower advanced spiked chain climb. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to start training some agility and I don't like it. Or 
we just go for it. Here we go, 30 agility, we can now go to Varrock. 40 agility, we now move on to Canifis until 50. Alright, here we go, 50 agility, and now we move straight to Falador course, and we stay there for the next 10 levels, and then I think it's Camelot, so... It's getting pretty slow, but it's a little bit of a deter, and eventually I need to get to 71 anyways, so I might as well knock it out early, and uh, yeah, let's get, uh, I guess, 10 more levels. An hour or two later, and our agility level is now 60. Very nice, that means we can now use Seer scores. I will either go for 61, 65, or 71 agility. It totally depends how long it's gonna take me to edit the video I'm editing right now, but 61 was the goal originally. 61 agility and 700 total level. I do think I want to stay here till at least 65 because it's an extra escape next to the Slayer Tower. But realistically, I do think I want to stay here for 71 as I honestly do not want to die. I don't want to lose VLS, Black Mask and everything. So I think instead of going for 99 strength, which by the way would be totally accomplishable very easily in this video, we're going to accomplish that tomorrow and we instead go for 71 agility just to protect ourselves just a little bit more. I think that is a solid strategy to go for. Let's accomplish it before the end of the video. And here we go. As promised, 71 agility. With that, we are now going to conclude day two technically, but not really. It is currently 5 p.m. day two, about 27 hours since the start of Deadman mode, and the stats are on the screen. Uh, honestly... I am doing really really well, I could easily have 99 strength and more attack, but honestly some protection with 71 agility I think will be more useful actually. So yeah, I do hope you guys did enjoy the video, the first video got a lot of support, so hopefully this one gets as much support as the last one did. Also, feel free to check yesterday's video if you haven't seen it yet, and also feel free to check out my second channel where I upload everything that is non-RuneScape related. With that being said, thank you very much for watching and I'll be catching you again tomorrow with another upload. Have a good one and bye-bye.